On-Site Technology USA. Röntgen discovered X-rays. Lawe discovered X-ray diffraction from crystals. The Braggs pioneered the use of X-ray diffraction for material science and nanostructural characterization. Using simple parallel beam optics and the rocking curve technique, where you're able to precisely quantify the reciprocal space in order to analyze and derive nanostructural parameters. An advanced Bragg spectroscope is created by combining a modern day diffractometer and the advanced two-dimensional real-time high sensitivity x-ray diffraction imaging system called AXIS advanced XRD imaging system quick and easy mount with minimal disruption versatile and adapts to most existing commercial diffractometers lightweight and easy to deploy and derive results quickly beam profile and optics used with the Vigaku smart lab equipped with a sealed tube or rotating anode x-ray source incident beam flux density profile used to study the multi-layered epitaxial sample a conventional 0g diffractogram from a point counter is used as a standard to compare all diffractograms with both the silicon substrate 111 and the epitaxial film 0002 symmetric reflection profiles are clearly resolved each layer nanostructural characteristics may be identified and quantified using this methodology including layer thickness layer composition and layer defect density beam expansion along the equatorial plane in this case in the range of 300 to 328 percent is important to bear in mind the incident beam footprint at various angles in the vicinity of our rocking curve observation clearly demonstrates the changes in the sampling area for various sampling incidence angles. A quick review of the three-dimensional data set collected for this rocking curve shows an abundance of character that would not be possible to observe record and quantify using the conventional 0d xrd rocking curve method The silicon substrate 111 symmetric reflection shows high intensity and low rocking curve half-width. 
while the epitaxial film 0002 symmetric reflection shows lower intensity and higher half width and each layer signal is observable in pseudo color. For subsequent analyses and comparison with our 0D standard reference pattern, we have chosen a 10 by 3 pixel region of interest, which is equivalent to 0.27 by 27 millimeters on the sample surface. In addition to the 0D standard reference pattern, we have also used an instrument profile simulated using Leptos. The Brooker Leptos generated instrument profile is a much better match to our sample profiles than a Gaussian. Using the 0D conventional diffraction pattern as a standard, we are able to quantify and record several variations in the XRD signal emanating from the sample surface. There are many more nanostructural features to extract from this data set with careful and more detailed analyses, including peak splitting, subgrain structure, epitaxial film thickness, layer composition, individual layer thickness, and defect density. It will also be possible to detect defect morphology once we are able to determine the correlation between nanostructure and XRD profile characteristics. A quick review of the region under the saturated pixels in the image shows a fairly good fit with our conventional 0D standard rocking curve profile and is indicative of uniform film thickness. Based on the geometry and optics used for this reflection, note that the sampling area on the wafer surface is approximately 17 millimeters horizontal by 10 millimeters plus vertical.